Here I am hiking in the woods. Here's our dog, Rhea. She's supporting me in this. And so I thought I'd bring you with me as I investigate this area of our property for the first time. No telling what's lurking down in that hole. That's why we always have to remain in prayer continually. Satan is prowling like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour it. We must resist him solid in our faith. As I continue on my journey, I see this very thorny vine right in the middle of the path where I'm wanting to go. And again, it's a reminder of how we have to always be alert, remain vigilant and awake, because there are all kind of traps continually being set for us to try to take us from God and His divine will for us. I found these little bitty flowers on the forest floor. They're growing, they're flourishing. It reminds me of how we're called to remain little, pure and little, in order to remain flourishing in God's presence and love, no matter what is going on around us. Looks like that might be a little raccoon track. Looks like a deer track. We have a number of deer that come through on our property. We also have wild boar as well. This is how I'll be able to tell what's been going on around here by these tracks. And again, this can remind me of our spiritual life. What kind of tracks have been going on in our own lives? Are we having positive thoughts? Are we feeling doubt, discouragement, despair, fears, anxieties? These are all negative, negative tracks. That, that take you to the evil one and his snares. That's why it's so important for us to always be attentive and call upon our Lord and the Holy Spirit and all the angels and saints to intercede for us. And you know, I wasn't careful enough and I did get snagged by this. Again, I see a number of tracks here, but not sure if they're my dog's tracks or coyotes or something other. And that's why we always have to be discerning. Every day, everything that we go through in life, we must be discerning, always discerning God's will, always discerning what is of God. And what is of the spirit of the world, the flesh, and the devil? The dogs have found a playground over here. Of no telling what is underground. But I'm encouraging them not to be looking too deep into that. No telling what they'll find. It's best that we focus on our Lord and seeking His will. Come on, you guys. Stay out of there. Seeking God's will, keep our eyes, our minds fixed on the kingdom of heaven and seeking to do God's will and all else will be added unto us as well. Moving on out toward the sun. We have quite the vines here in case I ever wanted to play like Torzahem. Or should I say Jane? God bless you all.